signed a new lease for a lot more money. He's Dame and Dominique. Et vous savez que je paye 1670, mais je vais regarder dans les commentaires. Vous pouvez avoir un 3-bedroom house dans Oklahoma. Merci. Damn! Look, welcome to my, I, I've been referring to this as my sex in the city apartment, although there hasn't been much sex. Cut. You can't say that. It's kind of annoying how I got this place. My friend Madison was moving out and she was like, and I said, and she was like, and I said, this place is gorgeous. Every day I wake up and I'm like, yeah, this is what I've been, this was the apartment I wanted. Um, you've seen my other, like, dungeons. Um, this is the hot water tank. This, I swear, will fall off the wall one day. I have a faulty fire alarm. He yells things at me when I take my trash out. All right, here's, here's how this is gonna go. I'm going to walk you through everything. Also give you, I guess, my tips if you want your apartment to look like this. Look around. It's like my color wheel has five colors. Black, white, red, green, yellow. Black, white, red, green, yellow. Red, black, white, green, yellow. Black, white, green, red, yellow. It all has it. I'm a flea market fiend. Like, I think I know all the best ones here in Paris. We're out at the flea market. It's veterans. It's only the serious people. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the description box below. Everything in here. Okay, some stuff was from Zara Home, but like... <laughs> this sofa I got from Emmaus, which is the Goodwill of France, and it was 120 euros. I walked right in and I was like, that's her. It did come with a chair, but somebody... One of the employees! How did... One of the employees had like marked the chair. I was like, why would you even put it out? Why don't you just... <laughs> that don't even make any sense. That's what I like to call French logic. If you ever go to a castle here in France, a Chateau de Versailles, Palais Garnier, look at the curtains. Look at the curtains and the rugs. It's all this kind of um, this kind of print. So it's called Damassé Jacquard Motif Floral. Okay, now as I mentioned, everything in here is pretty much from Le Bon Coin, which is the French Craigslist, including this huge lamp. Now this lamp, I was like, yo, this is bound to happen. I walk in the guy's apartment. And I was like, pourquoi est-ce que vous vendez en fait? Why are you selling it? And he was like, uh, because my, my, my grandma died. I was like, well, that'll do it. As my mom always said, you can't take things with you when you die. <laughs> um, this is my green baby. I got this off of the Craigslist as well. I paid 220 euros for this, yes. <laughs> I will admit, sometimes at night I walk in this room and I get afraid because I see this and I think that there's a child in my apartment. I'm telling you there's nothing but like shit like this on Le <laughs> Bon Coin. I went to this guy's sculpture studio. He had huge noses you could buy. I was about to buy the big nose just to just because I thought it was interesting. Now these objects I've been very intrigued by. These like vases that are supposed to go in your garden but I don't have an outdoor space so I put them right here. I like the aged look. Like I want this to look like it was sitting out in the Louvre gardens for like centuries at a time. So what I did was put some soil on it. See this is the after effect. I made it look aged. This is what it was all looking like before. Literally you just do this y'all. Like, she was looking so, like, major basic town. I bought this book at a flea market, you know why? Because I opened up to the page of my view. Like, we got 294 pages in this book. Why is the page I open up to the one of my view? I said, here's 25 euros, sir, I'll be on my way. Now, why is it that the page I open up to now is Le Paris des Etrangers? You see what I mean? You know how sometimes you catch yourself doing really dumb things? So that tapis de couloir and this area rug, I got them both as like an ensemble from, again, say it with me, 
le bon coin. The guy was like, oh, well, if you, si vous passez par le bon coin, vous allez avoir beaucoup de frais. And if you want the livraison, I'm gonna give you a deal. It was this whole, you know, he was trying to negotiate. So he's like, send me your money. <laughs> so I sent him my money. And I, like, I didn't have his email or anything. I said, okay, here you go. And the second I sent the money, I was like, wait, what are you doing? Like, this is so stupid. And guess what? He showed up in an hour. Showed up in an hour. That's good business, baby. His name is Le Beauté. Anyways, this is what I'm saying. I'm like in bed right now. 100 euros. And then about 100 more for the bleach that I used to get all the stains off of it. <laughs> it's things like blankets. You can get a blanket for probably $20, right? But if you want a cool blanket, you're gonna pay 60, 70, 80. This one was, I think, 69 euros. But the thing is, they like they take up the white. Now, when you have an apartment with white walls, uh, I would say tip number one. Now, when you have an apartment with white walls and you want to do kind of like an interior design like this, number one is to break up all the white. It's not that it looks bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not that it looks bad. It's just that it's not the style that I want to go for. So draping, again, some color or pattern or textures. It's all about textures. That's what it looks like without anything. It's all about the layers. Now, this is a cool architectural feature. I also tried keeping like the books that I think are the most interesting at eye level because when people walk in here, they're gonna be like, oh, like the trouble with being born. <laughs> Difficulty expliquer du français for English speakers. Dirty French. How to be an existentialist. Psychotherapy. Get a grip on philosophy, the simple path to wealth. If you've taken my French course, you would recognize my man or my woman. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, love me. This is my photo wall. And I have a new technique. If you saw my last apartment video, you saw my huge photo wall, right? Big ass photo, small frames. Big ass photo, small frame. Okay, well now I'm taking that to the next level. Notice there's no glare. That's right. Have you guys ever actually noticed that pictures have glares on them? I didn't notice this until last week when I was starting to organize everything. And I had some posters I wanted to get framed and they said, do you want anti-glare, museum glare? I was like, whoa, what are you talking about? Let me show you. You can get different like levels of glare protection. So this one has like nothing on it. You see how there's a glare in it? Like I didn't even notice this ever. Now I'm like ashamed. <laughs> this is another, I think, level. I was gonna do this whole wall in flowers, like bouquet of flowers. Uh, I just couldn't find the right paintings for it. Oddly relaxing. Like, it's this fake fire crack sound for me. And in fact, I have Sonos, those speakers. By the way, that was a really good investment. I would have never bought speakers on my own until my ex, who's like, a fond dans le son, he, he loves anything sound. He was like, why don't you get some speakers? And I was like, cause my laptop's fine. Get some speakers, go get some speakers and put them up there. This is my workspace for the most part. This is where I edit the videos. This is where I've been writing a book. This is where I've been doing my TV show pitch. I will admit it's freezing over here because the heater's over there. It's beautiful. I didn't say it was gonna be comfortable. <laughs> By the way, can I just say, have this shit in here. Sorry, I'm saying shit a lot in this video. Half this stuff in here, if I was shopping with somebody else, I'm pretty sure they would have talked me out of it. I'm saying this because I think it's important to go shopping by yourself because you'll actually get what you want instead of feeling judged by your friends. Like the green baby head, like I don't know if my friends would have let me buy that. I had this idea that I was gonna buy a lampshade, like a, a beige lampshade, imagine, and write Sharpie on it in cursive. I don't know, you could write your manifestations or whatever you want. I was just gonna like do signatures and things like that. You know, it'd be cool having your friends sign it every time they come over. This table was here, it has to stay here, it's part of the apartment. So I was like, well, how can I make this more me? Why, why are there so many things on this desk? To break up the white. To break up the white. The first thing I thought of, let's get a suma. Now, let me tell you how. A few days after this one arrives, I find the perfect one at a flea market, Porte de Vent flea market, and I'm like, shit, I already have one though, Damon. You already have one, you don't need one. I bring it home, it fits perfectly. That's what I'm saying, like, it's a hard knock life. 
for them because it's not a hard knock life for me anymore. <laughs> you saw how many struggles I've, I've literally filmed them all. Paris has all these used bookstores and I stopped in one the other day and I found this one which I thought was really cool. Every day I open up to a new page. This was the first thing I got. Um, when scouring, I saw how gorgeous this uh, like coat of arms was, and also it's in gold. Anything gold and silver, add it to my basket. Uh, it's gonna just make the place look rich. In fact, you know what? Now that I'm looking at everything in here, there's no plastic, actually. We'll stick to materials that were around back in the day. Like, plastic probably wasn't so big. They were making everything out of like real materials, right? Not to say plastic's bad, like, of course it's cheaper. <laughs> Get it, if you need to. But um, yeah, everything is kind of this, or this like tray, this like ceramic. And a quick tip, sometimes it looks a little basic to just have the vase on the floor. So if you put the vase, prop it up on like a tabouret, a little stool thing, I think it elevates the look. Now, if you dare to climb up this ladder, <laughs> there's my guest bedroom. So, what have we learned? Stick to the color scheme. Sticking with the motif. Like, I'm very happy with this. Now, I think one of the keys why this, to me, looks pretty good is because the rug takes up a lot of space. We underestimate how small rugs are. So again, those rugs, I think were 200 euros each, and I believe they're like a five by seven or six by nine, but if you can get a big, big area rug, I think that it'll do the trick. It'll make your place feel a lot more like a home instead of just hardwood floors everywhere. Now, halfway through this process, I was taking an interior design class with a designer named Rita Koenig, and she was talking about how if you have, you have to mix your hard surfaces with your soft surfaces. So for example, if you have like a hard nightstand, like loosen it up with like a nice blanket over there or a book, or if you have a soft poof like that, like the ottoman, it's just like a lot of cushion. It's a little too soft. So edge it up with a tray. Now this is probably one of the most bachelor pad parts of my apartment because there's, <laughs> there are no pillows. <laughs> This is me being like, yeah, you can come stay with me, but like, don't stay too long. <laughs> now, uh, in that interior design class with Rita, she was like, you should put a piece of furniture in your hallway. Like, you might feel like it's clunking it up, like there's not enough space, but it's actually that that will tie it all together. I'll be real though, every time I open like my bathroom door, I gotta watch out. Here's all my storage. Uh, things like fall out when you open these. <laughs> As you see, it's like, this is my Monica deposit. Like, everything just like falls out. This is what I'm saying. The door's been tricky because it's just this like glaring white wall looking back at me, right? I was thinking about maybe doing black, black and white postcards. Like, through the whole thing. Maybe wrap the door in black and white newsprint, like in Russian or something. Or Arabic, that'd be cool. I also thought, like, since it doesn't have a peephole, I was like, what if I get like a fisheye mirror so that someone's like, oh Damon, I'll, let me just see who it is. And then like they see themselves. Like, <laughs> No, like it keeps going. Like this is what I'm saying. This kind of style is really in now. Like it's very clean, it's beige, it's white, and it, there's like nothing in here. So I kind of went with that over here, mainly because the floor is gray. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this gray floor. Also, like the countertops are the countertop colors, so we gotta kinda go off of that. This is supposed to be a bath mat, put it right here. In your kitchen, I think it's all about sticking to the natural elements. So bamboo, ceramics, and pottery. And like again, this these are items that most people I don't think would buy this because, well, it was way too expensive. Like this bowl, probably nine euros. Yeah, like you can get a bowl for a dollar. I know, I know, I know. Every time I see this, like, my food is better. In fact, when I was looking at those plates, people were like, who would pay this? And I was like, me. <laughs> Some of the process requires changing your own mind, like really thinking about it. Like, yeah, you can get some sheets for $20. But you sleep every day, like you sleep every day. So if you do like linen sheets, yeah, they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but that's like un petit plaisir que tu vas, tu vas en profiter tous les jours, you know? You're like, no, I don't speak French. So, 
I also just wanted to point out how it's all these little knickknacks that really turn out the turn it up in here. Because before, actually, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Damn it, like looks worse. Why'd I buy this? Why'd I buy it? Tell me. To be honest, the best part of this apartment is actually looking right across from my apartment because I have two neighbors who live right here and they're the, it's like the sweetest older couple probably in their 60s or 70s and every morning I'm telling you it's like 9 30 a.m. the guy comes out and he grabs a bottle of wine and he said fuck it, I'm gonna drink it <laughs> I'm not joking this guy's out there at 9 30 he comes out for his Prosecco no but to be honest um, since my whole family lives in the States it's just kind of comforting to see like a family over there I mean it's just an older couple but just to see like their light on like, makes me feel like I'm safe. I really felt like this had a Japanese theme going on, and I was originally gonna try to get, uh, you know how when you go to a Japanese restaurant, they have all the lanterns from the ceiling? I would love to, but it's not like this is my place, you know, like there are limits to this. So instead I got these, which also I don't, I don't think this is Japanese, these are just marks, like markings. I got these at a, a good place to go shopping. You have to go to, uh, museum gift shops. They have all kinds of stuff like this and cool stationery. I was gonna buy a poster that was in, I believe, Chinese and I did Google Translate and it came out to this. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, there's no ramen here. I should probably get that because I don't know how to make ramen. <laughs> instead, I thought maybe this isn't a good idea. I don't really know what it's saying. So instead, I'll get these and who knows, maybe this does say like, go to hell, Damon Dominique. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but we are moving up into my bedroom. So this is the bedroom. <laughs> with my perfectly placed book right there. Uh, and as you can see, there is no barrier. Like <laughs> Your ass is gonna fall off. Now, throughout the years, I've realized that I actually don't, like I'm not looking for a bedroom. I don't want a bedroom. When I'm apartment searching, I actually click studio or loft space. I prefer this like mezzanine. In French, this would be a mezzanine. Remember when I was saying how you have to go shopping alone? Because this is a really, really big lamp, but it looks good in here, you know, like it matches the other wicker. I just wanted to point out, like again, this is a really big lamp. It's a really big lamp. And in fact, I carried it with me through the Metro home. <laughs> and I remember hearing somebody's comment like, why would you want such a big lamp like that? And I was just like, one, I speak English. <laughs> like, <laughs> and two, like, it's not going in your place, so what do you care? Like, can I just have my lamp in peace, please? <laughs> Can you tell which room's been neglected? <laughs> Sorry, one second. Yep, still looks just as bad. This room was confusing because it's a bathroom. Uh, there are no, there's no like natural light. You gotta work with the light that's here. I'm just now realizing this is white on white and that's probably why I'm not liking it in here. I should probably do this, hold on. It's just like game changer to have a washing machine. I was totally underestimating that. I was thinking, oh, it'll be so cool to go to the laundromat and like, that's gonna be a place where I could go and read my book one hour a week. Like Damon, yeah, if you wanna inhale the like weed smoke from the teenagers who go in there and hide in the back room. What is this, my brother's car? <laughs> Sorry. If you've been following this channel, well, my experience on YouTube for years and years and years, you would know that like I've been <laughs> working my ass off to get an apartment like this. So I'm really, I'm stoked to be here. I'm very happy. Um, that looks really good. <laughs> like I'm just, <laughs> it's nice to have an apartment where you can like fully, you know, explore your interior design. Like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up, comment, uh, subscribe. It helps the algorithm, I guess. They be changing the algorithm every single day, so who knows at this point. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try responding.